Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Ticket, and today's video we have a great hack to save battery life on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started. Now this question was submitted by you, by the audience. If you want to submit a question, you can submit it on Twitter, email me, drop a comment below, whatever. I'll make a video in response. So here's today's question. The official Mark on Twitter asks, can you set the location setting to go on and off for maps or ways or other apps. I would like to have location not stay on and suck up battery and always have to turn it off manually. So he doesn't want to turn on and off the location manually all the time. He wants these things to happen automatically. So here's what I'm going to suggest for that, which is going to help anybody save additional battery life. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. Then you want to scroll down and you want to go into privacy. Tap on privacy or you can also tap on location. Okay. And under location, you are going to see all the location access that we have been having for various applications. So for example, Google has used my location three minutes ago. SmartThings has used it nine minutes ago. Samsung Wallet has used it 36 minutes ago and so on and so forth. You can see a full list of all the applications that are using my location. Now, as far as Maps and Android Auto is concerned, plus a couple of other applications, I don't have a problem with location accessing those because it is almost a requirement to use the Maps with location services. Problem is location does take away a lot of your battery. So once you are in this setting, I want you guys to go to Recent Access and if there's any application here that you do not want the location to be used for, for example, I don't need Chrome to use my location. So I would tap on this guy and I would say, don't allow. Okay, don't allow anyway, no problem. So that's gonna save me battery life, believe it or not. Because Chrome does access my location seven, eight times a day. And that could be 1% of battery. I'm gonna scroll down. So for these two applications, I do not need the location. Home Depot. I'm going to say don't allow to use location and then I'm going to say do the same thing for realtor okay don't allow I'm going to do the same thing for let me go back here uh, Lowe's right over here I'm going to say don't allow I don't need location services for these apps and I know that personally so that's one thing is going to save you a lot of battery life it's just going to add a one percent here one percent there one percent there maybe five to six percent of additional battery life is going to be saved when you don't allow location to be activated for certain applications now on top of that if you go back you can tap on location services and maybe disable the Bluetooth scanning here. That's just for accuracy, but it's not that great. I would keep this one enabled for high accuracy, but if you do disable these, your location services are still gonna work. But with this one, it might be slightly less accurate, but it's not gonna affect Google Maps, okay? But if you disable these, you're, you're saving another one to 2% of battery in a day. And if you read the description here for Wi-Fi scanning, it says, let apps use Wi-Fi for more accurate location detection, even when the Wi-Fi is off. So even when the Wi-Fi is off, the phone is able to use it for location access, causing additional battery drain, even with the Bluetooth. If it's off, the phone can use it. So. These are not gonna make a huge difference, so I recommend you turn them off to eliminate excess battery drain. So you can see all the percentages are adding up, uh, allowing you to extend your battery life. Now, one more thing I wanna show you guys, if you go back over here, and if you go to privacy, if you tap on this information here, you can also get a good look at which application is using most of the location. So look at this. Today, the Google app has used my location so many times. Do I really need it or can I go and turn it off from the other menu I just showed you guys? And just look at what's happening here. This is happening, some of these location accesses are happening while I'm using the application. The other ones are happening in the background without even my knowledge. So that's certainly eating even more battery for no reason. All the app is doing is tracking your every move and making suggestions on your location. Not everybody needs that stuff. So you can turn this stuff off. And look at this, if I tap on view more and tap view more again, there's so much going on here. 
Same with this one, the Samsung wallet in the background, why was my location even used? So I can turn that off. Actually you can click right here and just click right here on Google and uh, disable it from here as well. So these are the ways to look and deeply customize your phone to maximize battery. Again, let me go back over here. Look at this, why is browser needing my location? Sometimes it asks me, I might say yes, but here's what I wanna do, I wanna tap here. I wanna say ask every time. And if you don't want that hassle, just say don't allow. So it's not gonna ask you and it's not gonna save battery for the Chrome browser to use your location. Now again, Android Auto and Maps, absolutely essential to have location for these guys. There are some other ways to do it as well, but they're not 100% foolproof. So if you go into, for example, advanced features, and if you go into the uh, Bixby routines, which should be right here, you can do some trickery here if I'm in this location, do this or that, but that doesn't work all the time. One thing I can recommend you do is if you go to Bixby routines, what you can do is you can say specific time. For example, if I'm asleep, so for example, let's say I go to sleep at 9.45 p.m., okay? So if, and also every day, 9.45, I go to sleep. If this time is met, then what I can say is I can have the location turn off automatically between those intervals, okay? Now, the thing with this is, Location doesn't get used that often overnight anyway. So this may or may not help, but once you create the routine, you tap on done, and it gets saved under my routines, and it activates automatically at the time that you have set and the days that you have set, okay? So, and by the way, if you have any trouble with any of the routines that you set up, you can always just delete them, okay? This is not a big deal. So you just go back to Bixby routines under advanced features, press and hold, and just delete the routine if it's causing problems or conflicts. You can test them out and see if you like them. Those are some tips and tricks to help out with that question that, that the official Mark had on Twitter. And again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below as well and let me know. For now guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Socky Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Socky Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.